I'm Jeremy Wade. I've spent a lifetime being fascinated by fish. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Fish of all shapes and sizes in rivers all over the world. Today, I'm closer to home on the River Kent in Cumbria in the north of England, and I'm fishing for Atlantic salmon. But I'm not doing very well. Am I losing my touch? Or it could be something to do with that. This is Boston Weir. It was built 150 years ago, harnessing water power for a paper-making mill. Although salmon are famously good at getting over obstacles, they would really struggle getting over this, even with the fish ladder there. The thing is, though, structures like this are part of our industrial heritage, but they're also a potential problem for us. If they're not maintained, there's a risk that sometime in the future, they will fail. And that's why all over the world, and particularly in the US and Europe, obsolete dams are being taken down. And the pace is gathering because there's an unexpected bonus. As well as allowing fish to swim free, removing dams restores whole stretches of river, both up and downstream, to a more natural and ecologically productive state. And another thing, as rivers become less engineered, they become more able to absorb the effects of increasingly extreme rainfall. Hence what's about to happen here. It's one of the biggest dam removals so far in the UK. I guess I'll just bash it with that somewhere in the middle. Wonder who's got the keys? Turns out this is one of those things you've got to leave to people who uh, actually know what they're doing. Which makes sense if you think about it. Because these highly complex hydrological and biological systems that we call rivers really are the arteries of our planet. And although it might not look like it, what's happening here is life-changing surgery. And the results should be visible very quickly within just a few years because the thing about rivers, like all living systems, is that if you work with them and give them a helping hand, they will take over and do most of the work themselves, restoring the biodiversity that's been lost. And if I come back then, there's a better chance that the salmon will be here too.